Good morning internet, it is 8.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Today is another day in Iceland and it's going to be quite an exciting day because today I will be riding gravel road all day long. So no asphalt today. So let's see, that is going to be the first proper test I guess for Ronin to see how we're doing uh, off-roading. I'll show you on the map what the plan is for today. Okay, so I am now here and what I'm going to do is cross straight here in between these two glaciers and then right until here and then here the paved road uh, starts again so all of this is going to be unpaved and i think also uh, at a little bit of altitude oh, i actually don't know how high it is but uh, i do think this qualifies as the highlands so as you can imagine i am quite excited and uh, the total distance is about 200 kilometers so let's see i have no idea the condition of the road it should be relatively okay but I guess we'll find out, so let's go! I'm so curious about the day! <laughs> I hope it will be a good day! But we'll see! Look how beautiful it is here! There's clouds, wow! So I'm guessing I'm going somewhere up there, into the highlands. Ooh, next petrol station, 240 kilometers. Well, I filled up completely, so it shouldn't be any problem. Look how awesome. There we go. Let the adventure begin. Looks like I'm heading straight for that cloud over there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there's a gate here. Ah, uh, there's loads of sheep everywhere, so they have these gates. But you can just open and close them. No running away today, sheep. Look at that beautiful gorge there. see oh don't be scared don't run into the fence it's okay I'll just wait wow look at it it's coming to the rescue of its friend <laughs> Bye!
so I am the only one on this road, except for these little mosquitoes again and some sheep and horses, but there is nobody. It's just complete silence here and it's just I have this entire landscape to myself. It's oh I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh so now I'm actually riding on a quite a small insignificant road. And in about 12 kilometers I'm going to ride the F35. And I think that's a slightly more common road. So I think there'll be some traffic there, but who knows? <laughs> Let's see. So I'm about halfway now, covered about 100 kilometers, and I am in a super special place. This is one of Iceland's most active geothermal areas, with just dozens of hot springs. And just the location of this place is just incredible, because what I showed before on the map, it's right in between two glaciers, and it's also right on the edge of an enormous lava field. Because 8,000 years ago there was a huge volcanic eruption and the lava flow from that eruption covered 180 square kilometers. And we're right on the edge here. It's an incredible place, right? It is so beautiful. And uh, it's also a good place to have my lunch because it's about halfway. I think I already said that. And it's lunchtime now, so I'm going to um, eat my um, uh, cheese sandwiches and then hit the road again. I am just loving the ride, really. It's just, uh, yeah, it feels like I'm back on the adventure and all it takes is just a gravel road and I'm just like, whoop, whoop. <laughs>
So this is the Hoofels waterfall and the river is called the Havika, which means white river. And this river plummets 30 meters down this really narrow gorge over there. Incredible. And in summertime, which is now actually, this river is transporting 100 cubic meters of water per second. Such a cool waterfall because it enters this really narrow gorge. It kind of, from this angle, it looks like the river just kind of disappears into nowhere. That was the Gulfos waterfall. So I decided that today is the day that I go camping. <laughs> because I can keep on uh, postponing it because of the weather. But yeah. This is Iceland, so the weather might never be great. <laughs> So I'm just going camping, good weather or not. Okay, here is a campsite. I think I'm gonna sit on this side, a little bit more sheltered. setup tent ever <laughs> but I think for first attempt pretty nice it's quite a big tent it's a three person tent I borrowed it from a friend so it's not mine but I think it's nice and spacious which is quite nice so all my stuff can uh, also fit inside look Woo. so it's time to prepare my dinner <laughs> look I'm cooking I got one of these uh, petrol burners, which is quite nice because using petrol, that means that I always I have two of these cans with me at all times. So if I run out of fuel somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I have a little bit extra. And of course, if this runs out, then I have a tank full of petrol. So I quite like this uh, petrol burner. What am I going to eat tonight? I have, <laughs> I think five or six of these adventure food uh, things. This is uh, satay babi. <laughs> it's like this, you only have to add water, wait eight minutes and then you have a meal. Apparently it's quite good. So let's see. So yeah, I think I have five or six of them, um, all different flavors. So uh, that's going to be dinner tonight. It's, it's not really, I don't really have the setup to like properly cook, but hey, it's all right. I have my little chair, which is lovely. I'm so glad I brought a chair and I don't have to sit on the floor. But uh, yeah, first night of camping. I like it so far. Let's see <laughs> how I feel tomorrow morning. I have no idea about the weather tomorrow. But uh, yeah, as long as it's dry, I am happy. I'm in Iceland, so I, I don't really expect amazing weather all the time. But as long as it's dry, then um, yeah, it's all fine. Now let's wait for this uh, water to boil. Okay. Now I'm gonna pour it in here. While my food is cooking, I'm gonna drink a coffee. Nothing wrong with an instant coffee every now and then. Well, and there you have it. A nice meal of satay babi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Mm. Well, maybe it's because I'm really hungry. <laughs> but this is actually really good. What a day, what a day. It was the first real unpaved road riding with Ronin. I think she passed with uh, flying colors. It went really, really well. Um, and I had a fantastic day. First night of camping. So, that was it for today. 
I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.